Hi, Reese Bear. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Hello. So I wanted to update you guys on Reese Bear. So she had to go to the vet for getting her teeth looked after. She wasn't eating properly and was uncomfortable. So as I had shown in the other video, she was doing motions with her mouth that something was stuck and wasn't chewing properly for veggies. And it ended up being that she had stuff stuck at the gum line behind her bottom incisors, back behind them. So she had to be put on antibiotics and pain medications. And the antibiotic we were put on was Batril. And I have such a bad track record with Batril, unfortunately. So sadly for Reese, she had a terrible reaction to it. So we had to switch to Bactrim, which thankfully, I've never had a problem with that one. So with the Batril, she had her first dose the night after her procedure. And then she had her second dose in the morning after. And right after the second dose, she just started to go downhill. And slowly but surely, the rest of the day, she just got worse for not wanting to eat and not pooping. So I had to not give her her third dose that night, and she had to take motility meds, gas drops. I had to do a bit of hand feeding, had to give her some extra water because she didn't want to drink much. And then luckily by the morning, she was doing a bit better for pooping. It did take her a while to get her poops back up to speed and I'm still giving her gas drops here and there because she tends to get a bit gassy but we're still on the other antibiotic, the Bactrim. We only have I think two, no three days left of antibiotics and then I'll be able to take her off of those and hopefully her digestive woes will be cured. So right now she just has the antibiotics, still doing some gas drops and I'm giving her the digestive tablets from Sherwood and things are going pretty good. Uh, she's totally back to eating normal. It took her a whole week to start eating her veggies normally. And she drinks lots of water again, eating her pellets again, eating hay just fine. So one of the first things I noticed off with her before I noticed that she was having difficulties eating was there would be pellets left like the next morning there'd be some pellets in the dish and that was really rare for the herd. I give them about very measured amounts so it's not a ton and having some pellets left just made me think right away okay Reese is not eating her portion of pellets what's the matter? So that paired with noticing the weird eating difficulties made me have her get a vet appointment. So anyway I am super happy that she is back to her normal self for eating and drinking she has lost a little bit of weight through this ordeal, which if you guys know, Reese Bear had a lot of weight to begin with, so she's probably more of a regular size right now, which is just fine. She looks healthy and she'll, she'll put on a little bit more, I'm sure, with being back to eating normal, but it didn't hurt her any, thankfully. So yeah. And everybody else is doing well. Uh, Raisin had to work out with Veda that Raisin's still going to be the boss of Veda. So I did have a little bit of a meltdown the one morning. This was when Reese wasn't feeling right. That Veda decided she was going to try to take over Raisin's spot. And they were actually really mad with each other. They were doing like chattering and standoffs. And both of, their, both of them had their fur puffed up. And it was not a pleasant scene to see like this little baby trying to stand up to Ray because Ray can be uh, quite wild. And then luckily after Raisin jumped at Veda, Veda kind of got the picture to not take her on. But it took probably about two or three days for Raisin to calm down because she was quite on edge every time Veda got near her. So it was quite the ordeal and I didn't expect it. But, hey, that's what happens. Um, now Veda seems to have accepted where she's in. She definitely has, like, her hormones have come in because the one day Huckle was following her around with bad intentions. But that was just lasted for a day, and luckily she wasn't being sassy to anybody. So I think she's settled in. I think maybe everybody was a little too lenient with Baby, and she thought maybe she had a chance going up the ranks. 
because I said before it was watching her push everybody around and out of spots and I thought it was so weird that nobody was telling her off so I think she kind of got the wrong impression that maybe she could be bossier than she's supposed to be but regardless I was glad that everybody worked it out because that was not fun seeing her and Raisin upset with each other and of course it was happening while I was kind of stressed out about Reese because why not look at who's peeking through hi little baby Veda she's still like a little mischief maker though she loves to poke pigs with her nose just to like make them whip around and it's she just runs off so they could be sleeping and she'll poke them like right there I'm surprised she hasn't reached down to poke Reese right in the behind you better look out there's a little baby behind you so yeah I'm so happy that my Reese bears better it's really scary when they don't feel right because then it just makes you realize how delicate they are and how quickly they stop feeling good hi huckster hey Ray oh uh, where's Belvy? oh you can't see her she's in one of those tunnels and then over here well I think little buzz man he's in the corner eating some orchard grass I bought another utility shelf so these are from Walmart uh, the brand is Mainstay and these are what I like to use in the pig cage because the pigs can't chew them and they work as a great little hide slash place to run through run under and it really helps break up this large section here for Buzz so that he doesn't feel so out in the open but I can still see them and it's really ventilated and it's not going to cause any fights I'm not saying that these guys would be fighting I just mean for anybody who wants to give some cover for their pigs but have it safe so I do really really enjoy those and they're only like $6.97 I believe on Walmart's website so I bought a couple more I have to put one in Angus and Autumn's cage I haven't yet Buzzy. Hello, Buzz. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing, little Buzz? We can still only see your bum. Hey, Buzzy. You're so cute. And then here we have little Miss Autumn. How cute are you? You just laying down enjoying your hay? You're so cute. Love you. Hi. What are you doing? You're so adorable. You're such a pretty girl. I'm sorry, do you need water? And look at she's a brand new pig if you look at this side where there's no black. She drinks so delicate. So cute. You're so cute. I hear somebody much louder over there. Hi, Angus. Hey, little bud. How are you? What are you doing, buzz? Are you standing on the girls' beds? Isn't he cute? He's getting bigger. He still doesn't weigh very much at all. I haven't put him on the scale yet, but just by feel, he's still a pretty light pig to pick up. I should really put him on the scale so that I can have a recorded weight. The last time he had his weight recorded was when he got neutered, but I should see if he's gained some since then. I wish he would come out. Where's the little troublemaker? There's trouble. Hi, pretty Vita. How are you? She's so gorgeous. Such a big little, big little pig. Does that make sense? So she's about three months old now. And she just seems like triple the size of when I first got her. She's a growing. Oh, Reese Bear has moved. It's so nice seeing her comfortable when she wasn't feeling right. She was standing and had like the puffed out fur. 
which if you ever see a pig standing and having their fur puffed out, never is a good sign. Definitely means that they're in pain. So it's so nice seeing her laying down. Oh, there's Veda. No, not Veda, Velvet. There's the little lamb. Oh, Raisin's gone to sleep too. There's trouble. Where'd she go? There she is. Hi, baby. Oh, we might be going to sleep too. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!